3, 2, 1, Happy New Year! Ah! <laughs> How cool is this guys? Look at this. This is phenomenal. I love this effect. Shout out to Epic Summoners for putting this in, man. This is incredible. <laughs> Look at that, guys. So we're off to a brand new year in Epic Summoners, but it's already February in America. So we have already been off to two years already. I mean, two months already. So we're ahead of the game, guys. We're ahead of Soul Hunter. I mean, Epic Summoners. I'm mixing everything up here. I'm so backed up. I don't even know what the hell is going on. I'm shot. We got a free pull. Let's go ahead. Let's pull it. Five-star hero. Can we get it? Hell no. <laughs> All right, guys. So as I said before, Welcome to another uh, Epic Summoners video here. We're going to take a look at the new events that are just dropped for this week. And we got a lot of stuff, guys. So let me just say, no! We got a lot of stuff going on here. So let's just take a look. This is the activity. So we have a Summoners event. If you already know how the Summoners event work, as many times as you can open up, as you can summon, then you'll be able to claim the rewards. Uh, so at 500 summons, you can get this cool avatar not worth it at all 500 summons no you get one extra hero 15 of these fruits those are cool but not even close i can definitely do 300 so we're gonna do 300 summons possibly 300 i'm just trying to think because yeah we can do 300 guys i know i have it this one new hero just dropped so we're gonna be taking a look at the new hero as well cerberus cerberus sounds pretty cool uh Ele an elemental hero okay i already got hydra for my elemental hero but that's fine the bonus is always held now we have the exchange rate still going on i got a ton of mail for the valentine's day exchange 869 i can actually change for a lot of keys or fruits actually about only like eight fruits which is not even that good all right well, I'll, I'll decide that for myself the mail for this week is you're going to get some mysterious potions and some gems. Okay, why? Because this. They're also running a hero replacement. Check it out, boys. No matter how many you can do of these. Let's see. So the maximum one you can do is 600, which is a lot of exchanges, guys. 600 and the, you're going to get one five-star hero and this magic book. A new item that just dropped in the game. And uh, you can use this magic book to do this. Boom! You can replace an eight star or above hero so this is kind of okay it's kind of cool eight nine or ten star hero you can replace them for any other hero so let's just let me show you guys you can choose any of your other heroes that you have that you want to replace so let's say what the hell even cerberus how i don't even have cerberus oh uh, that's weird because i don't even have cerberus so i'm confused can it literally be any hero Hmm, that's very strange. I thought it had to be a hero that you already had, but I guess not. I mean, I don't have Cerberus, so I'm not sure why he's on this list. It's kind of weird, but not only do you have to have the hero, guys, but you need to also sacrifice two heroes of the same element, and then you need two of the hero that you want. So I need two of Cerberus, if you understand what I'm saying. So you need to have two Cerberus copies plus two more of the same element five star obviously and then plus the six books and you can replace i mean uh i guess it's worth it you only have to do two of them and the two it's okay but the problem is like i said before this book is crazy expensive like literally 600 mysterious potions is a lot now let me take a look at where i'm at right now so i got 255 summons so by the time the week is over i can easily build up to 300 that's fine i can do 300 and then I built up a lot of mysterious potions. Check it out. I got 452. Now 600, I'm not doing. I already know I'm not doing 600. Could I do 400? Yes, I can definitely do 400. But depending on if it's worth it, guys. So I'm going to take a look right now. 400. Uh, let's see. You get an extra 5-star hero. And 25 of red artifact fragments. Right now, red artifact fragments are the only uh, the best fragments in the game, guys. They haven't released orange, you know, legendary artifacts yet. It's only red artifacts in the game. So these are the best ones that you can get. So getting a red artifact is definitely worth it for now. Let's see. Oh, God. You need 50 of these, right? 50, yeah. So they give you 10, 15, that's 35, and then 25. It gives you 60. Why the hell? What kind of math... What are they doing? Or is my math wrong? 
that's 40 oh no that's 50 uh, never mind my math is shot so yeah so if you do 400 which i'm gonna have to do 400 guys if i want to get the, the red artifact damn i really do want to do 400 because at 200 the only other benefit is to get another one five star hero which is not worth it at all guys it's just a random five star hero you can open that for anything else it's not that great but just this artifact might be worth it you might actually be better off saving all of your see this is where a lot of planning comes into to the game guys if you sacrifice not doing anything for this particular event so maybe just open up let's say like 50 you know get the basic stuff and then save the rest of mine which is 400 then the next time this rolls around i will be able to do all of them and possibly have a really big nice reward like everything in there or do it now and pretty much get the red artifact plus all these reds nah that's okay all right i guess what i'm gonna do first is let's go for the summoning guys so let's go ahead i'm gonna try to do the summoning uh can't do all of them right now so i'm just gonna do about 200 we have 200 summons for now i'll do the rest off screen see what else i can get hopefully i can get something good uh, another problem is i'm full of heroes this kind of blows wowzers bowsers so i'm gonna have to pretty much go back and forth between fusing i can fuse this guy here oh my god how many do i have jesus christ i got so many of them so i probably can fuse so many of this guy at this point let's see how many extras i got i got eight i'm probably gonna have a lot more extras when i'm done let's see if we can open up 10 more and I really don't want to do this back and forth, guys. Going back and forth, back and forth. I really hate that. Ooh, five-star hero. There we go. All I really want is five-star heroes, even if they're just fodder at this point, guys. Fodder is great. <laughs> you believe me. Even having fodder meaning... Ooh, what is this? Look at this. We can do this as well. This is beautiful. The dungeon faction is... Uh, let me see. Both the dungeon and the saint faction are, are good to have, guys. No, not saints. What the hell is this faction? I completely forgot the name. Whatever. All these factions at the end there, they're really good. Alright, so let's open up some more. Ah. Oh, nothing there. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. I really don't want to go back and forth. Let's do one. I really wanted to just... Hey, I did it. So I wanted to get a, a, a guaranteed 5 star. So let's go ahead for the guaranteed 5 star here at the top. Let's see what I'm going to get. Guaranteed 5 star! Another Night Daughter. Jesus Christ. Boy, I have so many summons to do, guys. I'm going to do all these summons, not to worry. I just want to show you guys where the team is at right now. Still running a Rainbow Aura. Haven't really done much improvement since the last time we met. But Night Daughter huh, can potentially... Let me see. I'm going to need a 6-star Night Daughter. That's the crazy thing. I can. I have enough Night Daughters to do it. Uh, I have 3 Night Daughters now. I'm just going to need a lot of fodder, like I said. I need a lot of fodder. A lot of sacrifice. And then, oh, these two heroes are both good here. I'm not sure if I would even want to sacrifice these heroes. My god. So I can do that. I can easily... Uh, well, after the summoning, I'll have enough to sacrifice. I can get Hydra a little bit higher. So, that's kind of my goal right now, guys. 10 star, 1 hero in each faction. And then, 10 to work on another hero from uh, the same faction. Right? That's kind of the goal. Uh, it's always been the goal. But, uh, I'm just so confused as to why that Cerberus was there. Was it not Cerberus? Was it Black Disaster that I was looking at? Maybe, it could have been Black Disaster. But either way, yeah, that's it. So, for now, that's ooh, not there. For now, that's pretty much... Ooh, look at this, I can make some more heroes, guys. I'm just gonna... The only thing that sucks about this is you're better off saving, making your heroes right now, and making them actually later. Damn, I can make another 6 star dungeon hero jesus christ no what am i doing so a lot of times it's better to fuse these heroes when there's a fusion event going on you know it's a better idea but you know what i don't give a damn i'm gonna do it right now because i gotta get rid of some heroes here and look we can make a six star Tauros. how about that which i don't want to do right now i want to save this for that event so it's probably better off you're better off saving your material for a fusion event oh another this is what i'm talking about guys i don't care that it's a shitty hero which nobody really uses 
It's a five star element hero, which I can sacrifice. That's what I need. All right, you know what? Let's go into the altar. I have about five. Look at how many I have of these, which I'm not doing right now. Okay, well, let's do this smart. First of all, I got all these crappy one star heroes. Let's get rid of all these. Look at that. I can open up so much room. Let's get rid of all these. Let's get rid of all these. Always keep four, guys. If you don't already know by now, keep four of each copy. That's all you really need. So maybe I should do it like this, huh? Instead of fusing them, I'll save the extra copies and just fuse the extras. I mean, just sacrifice, dismantle the extras, and this would be a better option. Yeah, let's do it like that. I'll keep four of each one for now. And then when the next event rolls around, next fusion, I actually, oh my god, these are the only ones that I have extra with that I actually need to save. The rest of them are really good heroes man let's collect that let's see what we've got so far just the first prize okay let's keep going i'm gonna go for as many as i can right now until it's full until my bag is full and uh, we're still looking for cerberus obviously we still want to get cerberus but will i have such luck hell no damn it i'm already full but look at all these other damn we can make so many heroes here we can make him, we can make Tauros there, we can make another one of this guy. So I have so much of this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and make him again here. Boom, and boom. <laughs> that easy. Not a six star. I'm not going to make six stars. I'm only going to make the five stars for now. More of this chick. Boy, this chick is just... You know what? Let's use all these dudes right there. Boom. There we go. Six star, six star. And, oh my god, another one. I have too many of those. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go back to summoning. Oh, I also forgot. Oh my god, another one. Shoot. <sighs> another tree dozer, guys. So I already got like five pieces. Oh my god. Don't you hate this? <laughs> I really hate that. <laughs> Damn it. Let me see. I could do this. All extras. All right, this is even better. Let's go ahead. Let's get one four star. This will automatically sacrifice all your three stars for one four star. It's not the best, but it's not that bad either. Go ahead. Ten more pull. Oh, you got to be shitting me right now. Alter. Let's see what we can sacrifice here. Let's get rid of you. That's an extra, that's an extra, this is all extra. Extra. Alright, right there. Boom. Let's go back. Yeah, it's not a lot of fun, guys. Just going back and forth, back and forth, but it needs... Oh my god, this is how it's done. This is how the game is played. Stupid ass game! So I'm at 100. Out of 200. I've already done all these. Let's go claim some of these. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, is I'm getting a lot of extra fruit. I'm at 36 fruit now. And then, my god, we're going to have to exchange a lot here. And I don't even know what to exchange, guys. I mean, I could exchange for elemental. If I exchange for a lot of elementals, I'm obviously going to get Cerberus. I'm going to get a lot of Cerberus. Let me just see what... This, what am I, what do I get if I get a 5 star Cerberus here? Okay, these are not the best. These are a lot better. But you need a 6 star one. Hmm. Alright, so since we're at that point right now, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cerberus real quick. I haven't drawn him yet, but I feel... Wow, he looks so similar to Black Disaster. Check it out. Black Disaster, Cerberus. Really, really similar. Alright, guys. So let's break him down a little bit quickly here. And let's see what he can do. First of all. Because it could be good or it can suck. So deals 195 damage to 3 random enemies. And then has a 20% 20 20 chance to silence the enemy for 2 rounds. Uh, that's pretty good. Silence for 2 rounds. And 195% damage to 3 enemies is nice. Very nice for an ultimate there. Okay, so I like that. Increase 20% attack and the hit rate 15%. That's okay. When attacking bleeding enemies, there is a 60% chance to silence them for one round. Wow, so, um, 
this is okay ability, but you need to run it on a bleed team, guys, which kind of sucks because you need a lot of different heroes that bleed, that cast bleed. Uh, Tree Dozer is definitely one of them, which is good. Okay, change normal attacks to deal 65% damage to three random enemies. Wow. All right, so it looks like he's going to be dealing a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. Right now, I'm running Hydra. 200 damage to an enemy and the two enemies. So this is still three enemies. Increases her attack by 20% for two rounds. So Hydra is massively just... So Hydra just deals a lot of damage, guys. That's what Hydra is all about. Black Disaster seemingly is better because he can cast... There's a small chance he can cast Silence. And Silence is pretty good. So I'm just liking Cerberus a little bit more than Hydra at the moment right now. Even though my Hydra is 7 stars, I could easily... If my summons go right... I can easily go with Cerberus instead of, you know what I'm saying, instead of my Hydra. Let's take a look. Is there any elemental heroes that I can substitute for? Hmm. That I really don't need. I mean, there's a lot of them. Maybe this guy right here. Let's go ahead. What a... Oh my god. Are you, <laughs> you see? <laughs> the luck. Wow. All right, so we got Cerberus that easily with my first, with my first roll, and I have so many other rolls, guys. And we get our prize, and now we can actually take a look. So we have one Cerberus. I could potentially just go. Well, let me just take a look. I got a lot of heroes here. I could potentially just go and get the Cerberus. Like, where is he? Wait, do I have? He's probably in the bag. Hmm. He's not even in the bag. The hell is this guy? Actually, there's all of this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Even this is full? My backpack is full? What the freak? I didn't even know your backpack could be full. Wow. Uh, where's my Cerberus here? This is weird. Am I just missing him? Does he look too much like Black Disaster? And I... Oh, he's right under Black Disaster. Okay, so here he is. Boy, I don't know, guys. You let me know in the comments, man. Should I run with Cerberus on my team? I'm thinking, I'm liking this dude a lot. Or should I just go ahead and run an elemental team? How about that? I could run an elemental team. I could run a dark team. I still have a lot of options. I can run any team I really want. Instead of even Saints, I could do. I got a couple of them right now. So many options, dude. I'm, so this game, I'm so confused as to what exactly I want to run. I got so many good heroes. I am liking the combo of... Uh, death clock here with his bleed ability so 60% uh, to all damage to all enemies uh, Causes the enemy to bleed for two rounds. You know what I'm saying? I love that seems like it's very good with look at this uh, Black disaster as well deals 110 damage to random enemies for, for Four random enemies causing them to bleed for two rounds dealing 35 cent damage So one that bleeds two that bleeds and then you add Cerberus as well into that mix this is another hero that will, you know, cast silence. And where's that ability here? Chance to silence if they're bleeding. So they work pretty well together. They got good synergy there. So, so many questions, guys, which I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So you're going to have to wait and find out for the next video, guys. I'm going to end this off here. I'm going to do a lot more pulls. I'm going to do all of my exchanges. I'll let you guys know how I, you know, how the team ends up. But at this point right now, I'm too many questions. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do all my summons. I just don't want to do it here because it's going to take too long to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then um, I'll let you guys, you know, I'll let you guys know on the next video how it comes up. All right. So then have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.